The hustlers have invited celebrity friends to help them with their scams. They'll be thrown in at the deep end. No training and no practice. Just straight in. Today's celebrity guest hustlers are TV presenters and interior decorating experts, Justin and Colin. We're in a beautiful part of Scotland in front of an absolutely glorious house which I want to own. You feel instantly to the man of Bond, don't you? There should be quite an intelligent ruse behind all this. The nice thing about the programme is that it's not nasty, you know, and I think that's why we want to be involved, you know, that it is very, very clever. I think for me what's exciting about this is the fact that theoretically we can help people that are watching avoid this type of scam, whatever it's going to be. I like your way of looking at it, actually. We're not scamming. It's actually it's a public service we're doing today. They're about to find out what's expected of them today from the Lord of the Manor. Hello, welcome. Good to see you. Hi, How are good you? Good to see Morning. you. Hi, colleague, step in. Do you like what I've done with uh, the face? You've got it looking absolutely brilliant. Yeah. However, maybe one head too many. One head too many? You're looking yeah. very Lord of the Manor. Very well, dapper. that's why we're here. Okay. So today, the three of us will be country gentlemen. Good stuff. We are going to put someone in a very tricky situation where we're going to offer them something that's going to be very difficult to refuse. Okay. Let me show you around the okay. place and uh, we'll start scamming. Grand. Grand. Come on. It's up the grand stairway to find out more in the phony title. There's a gathering happening at this country estate today. This is the mark. She's been invited to attend, but hasn't been told exactly what the occasion is. Hi, are you here for the meeting? Yeah. My name's Susie. What's your name? Claire. Claire and Donna. And uh, which one's Kennedy? Kennedy. Uh, lovely. Do you want to just follow me? Jess takes the mark and her friend upstairs for the meeting. Just take a seat on the end, just here. Right, I think everyone's here now. Thank you very much for your patience. And I'm just going to go and get Ian now, then he'll be able to explain everything for you. OK. Here comes Alex to explain to the gathered crowd exactly what's going on. Ah, there's everybody. Hello and welcome. Thank you for coming. Uh, before we start, can I ask anybody whose last name is Kennedy to put their hand up? So as you can see, many of you have got the last name of Kennedy and there's a particular reason for that. One of you might be able to help me um, here in this room. So all I need from you is just a little bit more details about yourselves. I don't want to get something for nothing, so we've laid on this raffle uh, here. So everybody will leave with something. Thank you so much for giving up your time. And uh, I hope you have a nice, enjoyable afternoon. I'll be over there at the back. So the Lord of the Manor is looking for someone with a specific personal background. Everyone is asked to fill in a form with their family history. So it's in as much detail as you possibly can, that would be brilliant. It's a bit of an unusual situation, but they'll all get a nice reward from Alex's raffle. Thank you. You're welcome. But Jess doesn't put the Mark's ticket stub in the bowl. She hides it underneath. For our raffle um, draw, we've got our neighbours who are going to be hosting it for us today. So if you want to come on through. This is where Justin and Colin come in. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, good luck. Some brilliant prizes in there, incidentally. They're posing as neighbouring landowners who've agreed to host the raffle. Obviously a, a big Sony flat screen Bravia television down there. Jess needs to pass Justin the raffle bowl without anyone seeing the concealed stub underneath. Colin's job is to distract the audience at the crucial moment. So are we ready to start the project? Are we ready? Are you all feeling lucky? Go. Do we feel lucky? And there it goes. Who's the luckiest? Welcome. You? Oh, I don't know, but you look a bit lucky to me as well. Now for the raffle. The prizes are pretty impressive. So the first prize is the two-week five-star holiday in Barbados. Oh. That's good. It's ticket nine, zero nine. Did wow. you win that? Oh my goodness. Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, the second prize is a 200cc scooter oh. plus accessories. Oh, yeah. fantastic. You You're going to look like an Italian Panamero. There you are. Uh, number two. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. But the next prize doesn't sound quite as exciting. Okay, so the third prize is the cheese making weekend for two oh. in Shropshire. Oh that, that might not sound like an exciting prize, but it's a real kind of procedure to make good cheese, and I don't know if any of you. It's now down to the guest hustlers to make sure the mark wins the booby prize. Justin slips out the concealed stub from under the vase and hands it to Colin. The big cheese in the room is. 
It's ticket number three. Oh. <laughs> we have a winner. It's gorgeous. Do you like cheese? Oh, yeah. The raffle continues. The two week five star holiday to New York. Actually, everyone else in this room is in on the scam. Ticket number four. Yes. So you! The mark has intentionally been given the worst prize to make her feel cheesed off. That way, she'll really appreciate the offer Alex is about to make her. Thank you, thank you so oh, much for doing that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now, um, is there a Claire Kennedy here? Who's Claire? Claire. Hi. Uh, um, I was wondering if we could have a, a word next door, because I think you might be able to uh, help us out here. The rest of you, please enjoy your afternoon. Uh, I shall leave you in the company of these three mad people. <laughs> uh, mad being the right word. And uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be sure to come and mingle uh, a little bit later on, but thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Uh, come with me. Oh, well, you guys must be really happy. Uh, I'm so excited that you, that you came. The Mark follows him through into another room, where she meets Paul, playing Alex's lawyer. Thank you so much for giving up your time. I hope I've reciprocated that with a cheese tour. But uh, I've, I bought this property and this land about a year ago. If I've bought this whole thing and I'm developing it and I'm pouring money into the infrastructure, it happens to be that because of your background, just you can help me with this. So Alex is currently the owner of this house and land, but he wants the title of Baron, which goes with it. And I, I'll be damned if I don't get the everything that comes with it, which is the, the title as well. So this means a lot to me. In order to claim his title of Baron, Alex needs the Mark's help. His lawyer Paul explains. Ian requires signatories, people who have titles, to agree to his application to a title. Because of that, we just need someone who can sign a form on his behalf and approve his application. It's like trying to get a membership to a club, basically. Yeah. It's as simple as that. And, and you have to be seconded sometimes by people who, hold, who already hold a membership. It's really as simple as that. What we need someone to do is to essentially take on a title that exists on the land near here. So the hustlers need the signature of a lord or lady. And because of her family name, this mark could actually claim the title of Lady of Took the local area. Our consultant's telling us that you've got a 90% hit rate. Everyone else is 40%, 50%. And so long as we can track you back far enough, we can use you as a signatory. We need someone who can claim that title, sign a piece of paper, and claim a consulting fee. That's all we're asking you to do. He'll pay you £10,000. I will. Say yes. She just needs to become a lady. Sign Alex's barren application and earn a whopping £10,000 as a fee. But first, she needs to own a piece of local land. That's where Justin and Colin come in. This is Claire, the one from Claire. Soon to be called Lady Claire, I think. <laughs> we own, a, I think, 183 or 184 acres. We decided to give away a small portion that doesn't actually detract from the rest of our policies, mm. so it seems to be a good situation for all of us. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's still a valuable piece of land, oh, yes, of course you know, it and is. that is titled. I'm going to basically sell you their land, so that land belongs to you. The minimum fee for the parcel of land is £2,000, which you pay to Colin and Justin, and that will then issue you with the title, okay, I'm going to give you the certificate, and from that moment, you are then going to sign something for him, and he will then pay you. She'll have to fork out two grand, but she'll get 10 in return, and she'll be a proper blue-blooded lady. We really need people to act quickly, okay? So if you're willing to act quickly, then there is a check for 10,000 pounds with your name on it. But can give you, shall we give you a little bit of time to think about it? Um, the Mark isn't sure, so Paul, Justin and Colin offer to take her to look at the plot of land. Use, the, use, use the, one of our cars outside. Uh, okay, let me get the, uh, let me get the keys from you. It's a ten minute drive up a winding road. And it's not the most attractive plot of land in the area. So it's a little inaccessible. I think it's important that you understand, you know, you're not buying development land, that it is literally just, it's going to be a piece of you in the middle of Scotland, but that's it. What I have to do is I have to ask you if you would be willing to consider it and complete today. How do you feel about it? 
at the moment. <laughs> She's still not convinced. Sensing that the mark is slipping away from them, Paul offers to sweeten the deal. What if we paid you cash tonight? I have to, we have to legally witness a transaction. Yeah, that would make a difference. If we did it with cash. She'll get her reward in cash tonight. Why don't I organize a driver? I know that uh, one of uh, Ian's guys is available. The mark goes off to think about the offer. Paul arranges for her to be taken to a nearby bank, just in case she decides to withdraw some money. Your lady, sir. Your lady, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done. Earlier today, TV presenters Justin and Colin help persuade a mark that her background allows her to claim the title of lady. We, we decided to give away a small portion that doesn't actually detract from the rest of our policies. So She would simply need to buy a small plot of land owned by the guest hustlers. For the parcel of land is £2,000. Her yeah. title would allow her to sign a legal document for Alex to claim another title, Baron of the Estate for which he's willing to pay her a £10,000 fee. So if you're willing to act quickly, then there is a cheque for £10,000 with your name on it. In The Phony Title, Part 2. The hustlers have provided a car to take the mark and her friend to the local town centre, just in case she needs to go to the bank. She returns to the estate, but has she decided to go for the deal? And more importantly, does she have the money? How are you? Have a seat again. Have a seat, please. They reassemble in Alex's drawing room. The mark still doesn't look too sure. <laughs> Well, the good news is you have the cash here. Which yes, is, I do. Uh, I'm sorry to drop that on you. Yeah, but um, that's fine. We keep enough cash to go around. Time for the big question. So, are you happy to complete? Yeah. Great. OK, so this is what we're going to do. First of all, we need to count your money, unfortunately. I've got the money up somewhere. Mm -hmm. And there's the money. The mark hands over £2,000 in cash for a tiny piece of land. Yeah, let me do this up here. And we'll hand that over to you. Do I minute. take my commission out of this? Paul no? counts out the cash. You can never be too careful. It all goes into an envelope. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh right. Which Alex then hands to Justin. After all, it's his land. It's kind of a good land. Land money. Fantastic. Really stick that in your pocket. So you guys oh, all print your full name here. Colin signs over the property deeds. Job done, Justin and Colin are about to head off and leave the mark to finish off her deal with Alex. But Justin is worried about carrying around all that money. I just don't fancy walking into, into Sterling with all this. Now? Yeah, I'll, I'll just... I'll put it in the same. Okay, I'll give you this back. Give me that I'll get stuck in my pocket. Alex takes the envelope back. Carry that around the city, if that's okay with you. Leave that? I'm going to leave that, Colin, but I don't fancy carrying that around the city all day. You'll leave this with me and I'll yeah. put it in the safe. Okay, fine. There's also a land certificate that goes with it that identifies right, exactly so what chaps, the look, is. Is it? That's it, that's your little lump there. But now for the important business of the day. Just print your name here, sign here, and then print again right there. This lady has just become the lady of two. <laughs> I'm going to pop open that button. Do you want us to bring some more back? I'll bring another couple of bottles back, if you bring, like. Bring a case up. Yeah, I'll bring another yeah. couple of bottles. I'll bring a couple of bottles, don't push it. Uh, right, I'll see these gentlemen off. Yeah, OK. Excellent. Well, that's Hi, we'll see you shortly. Take care. Excellent. Your ladyship. <laughs> Your ladyship, yeah, yeah. Well done. Yeah, yeah. indeed. See you in OK. Yeah. Um, we'll catch you later. So, yeah. see you in the next piece of land. this piece of land, which is good. You are now the lady of two. <laughs> um, I will give now you that she's entitled to sponsor Alex's own bid for a title, he keeps up his end of the bargain by paying her the fee, £10,000. Only, he's a little bit short. OK, I've got to get five more from the safe and I'll put this in a little bag for you Perfect. so it's not going anywhere. Uh, Alex you know, goes off to his safe for more money, leaving Paul to countersign the title deed. The only thing is I don't really want to do it with this pen. Do you have a nice pen? Do you have like a fountain pen or anything like that? Let me run off to the office and get you one. Paul goes to get some more appropriate stationery. But he won't be coming back. This is the getaway. 
Everyone else is already on their way out and into the cars. And before the mark realizes what's happening, the hustlers are gone. But what about the money that's still lying on the seat? Here's what the mark didn't see. Justin wasn't really worried about carrying around the money. The hustlers made a big show of giving him the envelope of cash so he could write something on the front of it. That was because they prepared an identical looking envelope moments earlier. Did you just write something on this envelope? Land money for us? Land money. The cash went into Justin's pocket. But it was the duplicate envelope that came back out. And that's full of worthless newspaper. So is the Mark's 10 grand fee. It's just rolls of newspaper wrapped in 20 pound notes. It's all as phony as that piece of land, which she doesn't own, and her title of lady, which was invented by the hustlers. Before long, the Mark realises something isn't right. Excuse me, um, you're packed to only book this room till three, so it's just to give you a little warning that I'm going to be locking up soon, OK? I'll let you know. And then the penny drops when she's told the place was only hired for the day. By the time they get outside, the hustlers are nowhere to be seen. It's been a, an interesting little journey to see how easy it would be to take advantage of somebody and to, to take somebody's money, to scam them. And that is precisely what we demonstrated. I suppose that's the thing, you know, there are people out there who really do their real hustle. There are a number of companies that offer to make you a lord or a lady by buying a piece of land. In this case, the offer seems too good to be true. Not only does the mark receive their fancy title, but they're also offered a large sum of money for their troubles. If you're going to enter into a transaction to acquire a piece of land, use a solicitor, use somebody who's going to protect you and look after your rights and tell you if what you're doing is the right and sensible thing to do. Don't part with money in these circumstances to help someone who's probably a complete stranger to you. 